my goal of developing a recipe at Louis Brand is. <laughs> Oh my god, I am so dumb. I had this set to private, so I was on here, like, trying to figure out why I couldn't see stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. Hello. Wow, you guys actually found my live. I'm randomly doing a get ready with me. Um, so that's why I look so tired right now. Um, hold on, I'm still setting up some stuff, but... Uh, I just had um, an interesting week, so I needed to get some, some kind of social interaction, I guess. Uh, what's going on with my speakers? Can you hear this jazz music? I love listening to cafe jazz. Hold on, I need to find... Uh, what the heck? Can you tell me if this is, I don't know if you can hear this well or whatever, so I'm going to be doing my makeup and drinking coffee, getting ready for my day. Um, you can clearly hear it. Okay, tell me if it's too loud. Um, how are you guys doing? It's Saturday morning here. It's not super early. It's like 10.45, basically. Um, I'm just going to tweet the link real quick. Yeah, it's, um, Rosé's here? Where? <laughs> oh my gosh, my sister, oh, that's why I couldn't see her. She hasn't been on what, um, she hasn't been in chat in one of my lives, so, uh, I couldn't see her, her name, now I see. <laughs> Hi, girl! Hi guys! Sylvia said she was gonna join the chat too, but um, I guess she doesn't want to. <laughs> oh no, uh, oh, you're a mod now. Girl, you're a mod now. Um, yeah, you guys, I'm gonna get ready. Excuse me for my, like, busted face. <laughs> um, but I wanted to get ready on here. And I have a bunch of my makeup, and guess what? One of the main reasons that I wanted to do a get ready with me, it's because I found a waterproof mascara. If you guys listen to the podcast, we released the latest episode last night. But if you listen to, I think the episode before, I 
uh, said I found a waterproof mascara and I don't know how long I've been talking about a stupid waterproof mascara. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, <clears throat> um, I have been non-stop sleeping the past day. Oh. Oh, you got your booster! Congrats! Oh, my sister's here! Well, Sylvia's not a mod either. Um... I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna start doing my makeup. Um, what we are going to do today is Sylvia and I are planning to film some stuff. So instead of just getting ready by myself, I like the neutral white aesthetic of your shelf. Thank you. Yes, um, this white shelf is going to only be for you're right like neutrals and whites maybe splashes of like black or browns because i like that but um oh this thing here if you guys didn't know rose made this for me she legit wove this by hand isn't that crazy it's so pretty and i had to put it in my background it was actually in front um of, um in front of me like on a back wall but i had to put it here because it's so cute I hope the mascara works. I still have yet to find one that will not smudge at all. Girl, I know. Okay, so the ones that suck. Okay, if you guys, if you guys like makeup, you're it's your lucky day. But these are the two that I've been using. It's the Maybelline Lash Sensational, and then this one is the Too Faced Better Than Sex one. These both suck. Okay, I know some of you guys have said that this one is good, but honestly, um, I they don't work for me they smudge and it's like not okay um yeah rosé oh yeah hansong hi um rosé is the diy master i haven't even made my own magnify wall i know she doesn't have her own um i'm okay um there's just been a lot going on this week and I think the the whole world has been, you know, kind of down because just, you know, world events and it's crazy and just personal stuff and uh, I'm just okay, but I I I think I think I know why Sylvia does these lives because it actually does make me feel better when you guys are here and I know like we're all just talking, you know? So, um I actually feel better now um first time catching your live welcome um yeah we're i told uh so we're recording stuff today so that's why i'm getting ready but let me let me start getting ready i actually hold on i'll be back I had to get my little spongy sponge. I'm gonna use a sponge today. I actually haven't used a spongy. It's a little, yeah. I'm gonna use this. So let's get ready. Are you, how are your guys' mornings? Are your guys' mornings? Does that make sense? I can't speak. Um, This is weird, we switch places. I know, girl, we switch places. <laughs> it is weird. Like, I've never actually been live by myself and then have you join the live. Like, it's very weird. Okay, let's get started. Um, I was planning to sleep in today. Like, when I say sleep in, I'm like around 10, and but I woke up at like eight something. Oh, I'm glad I caught a live on this channel finally. I guess you always do it when I'm at work or a weekend time. <clears throat> I've only done like two or three lives on this channel. And I think for two of them, we were drinking. <laughs> What's your go-to coffee drink? If I'm just 
if I'm Okay, it, it's very typical. It is an ice americano. If I just go to like a random coffee shop and I don't know what to order, my brain just goes ice americano. But but I do like ice lattes. That's what I'm having today. Oh, this is the cup from I think Atima, the Harry Potter Harry Potter cup. Oh my god! And I saw those Harry um eighties Harry Potter, uh, you know Harry Potter picture. <laughs> having a glass of wine with um Ojingo Dangkong. Oh my god! Yes, I know Ojingo Dangkong. Um um, I used to eat that all the time. I haven't had that in a really 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 long time. Oh, you like that? You like that, girl? You like <laughs> Yeah. So, I'm going to start with foundation. I have my Koya mirror. Um, I'm just going to use this and then I'm going to use my um, my monitors to see what I actually look like. But let's see my transformation, okay? So, I am using two different um, foundations. It looks really disgusting. Oh my god, ew. This is why I'm not a makeup guru, because look, look how nasty this looks. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is old too. Um, I have the NARS Sheer Glow and then the Revlon Color Stay. This is really good for my oily skin, but also because this is too light for me right now. I mean, I know I'm pale, but it's still too light. So I have to mix the colors. But yeah. What's going to be your makeup look today? <laughs> I don't know, what should I do? Maybe you guys can help me um, determine what my makeup look will be today. Like, should I go for, like, clown? Should I go for um, more natural? Like, what should I do? I was originally thinking just... Um, um, what is it? I was just gonna put some, like, shimmer on my eyelids. But... Oh my gosh, hi Sandy. Hi Gigi. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get started. So I have this. Um, I don't know if you guys have listened to some of the episodes or if I've said this in a live before, but um, way back, way back when YouTube first started becoming a thing, um, I was thinking about starting a makeup channel. Um, I'm kind of I'm I'm actually kind of glad I didn't because um, I probably would have deleted all my videos by now because I was so cringe back then. But so let's just start all over our face. Do you guys like um, Do you guys listen to Cafe Jazz? I listen to Cafe Jazz literally every day um, in the morning when I first like wake up and check emails and stuff, um, I listen to Cafe Jazz. Like, I, and I love having it while having coffee because it relaxes me and then I feel like I'm in a cafe. I actually love going to cafes, um, but can't really go that often because of, yeah. Um, ah! I'm trying to, like, pin my hair back. <clears throat> Hi. I mean shimmer, what? You should do brown glitter. Brown shimmer? Oh yeah. Yeah. One day you should do half and half face makeup look. Your makeup look in two videos. <laughs> Those videos are- Oh, maybe, maybe I'll try that. Um, oh god. I actually, yeah, 2015. I have to see what I even looked like back then. I don't think I was bad at makeup at 2015, but you know like how trends have changed? That's definitely... Yeah, that would be interesting. So I always wet my makeup sponge before I do it. Um, my makeup um, girl that did my wedding makeup, she actually didn't do a... Um, she didn't wet this first, but I like the feeling of it being um, being like a little moist. <laughs> Cafe jazz all day, we classy girls. <laughs> I know nothing about makeup, but I love watching people do. Mm. I used to use brush and sponge, then I got lazy and used my fingers. Oh yeah, um, I just feel like, I don't know, I really like the... 
I mean, I feel like maybe it does kind of waste the makeup, like the sponge, but I think more than anything, I just like the soft feeling of it. And I always go down to my neck and oh, I have all these like spots everywhere. But This is actually pretty relaxing. I don't think I've ever actually done makeup to um, cafe jazz. <laughs> and this is actually nice. I feel like I'm doing makeup in, um, in a cafe. <laughs> okay. Can you guys even tell the difference on this camera? Probably not. Hello, mate. Hello. Alyssa now only bomb what? I like wetting the sponge because it makes it more sheer when I want a more natural look. Oh, is that what it does? Well, I guess, yeah, I guess, um, actually I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Where's my other clip? I just have the makeup spread all over my table, so I don't know where anything is. I feel like my makeup's gonna look horrible today. <laughs> I, I mean, it's not your fault, it's mine, but I, it's kind of your fault because you're distracting me. <laughs> I have an issue with dry but also oily skin. Oh, you have combo skin? I have super oily skin. I don't know how many times I've talked about my oily skin, but I have super oily skin. I've gotta learn to do makeup. <laughs> um, I'm at 90% of the time, I don't, I don't wear makeup. Um, but I love makeup. I think it's fun and it's really relaxing. I think, I think anyone who likes painting or like artsy stuff. Oh, and then this is, um, oh, this is my favorite concealer, by the way. NARS is my favorite concealer. It's the NARS Creamy Concealer. And this one is in the shade Light. But this is, this thing, especially today, I have, you can see the bags under my eyes. Um, this is the best concealer. It's um, it's not too thick, but it's thick enough for you to work with it. Cause I've I've used all sorts of concealers, and this is definitely the best one. What are we recording today? It's a secret. <laughs> they will pop up in the next, like, I don't know. I don't know when we're going to actually post it, but we're going to record stuff today. It's going to be a beautiful um, Saturday. I don't think I've ever done my makeup on camera. This is, this is interesting. <laughs> you guys um, see my secrets. <laughs> As you can see, I like to pat very softly um, with the concealer ins instead of using... Um... Is this too white? Oh! I did, um, believe it or not, I did get... Because um, I know I don't really look like it because there's nothing to compare to right now. But I did get more um, tan when I was in Hawaii. There's still more Hawaii vlogs coming. I just, oh, it's just a lot of stuff I'm doing right now, you guys. Um, but yeah, so this I bought in the winter time, or it's still winter, but I bought like in November or something. So I might look a little stupid. NARS blush and eyeshadow colors. Oh, I love, oh my gosh, I love the NARS blushes. I'm probably gonna use my NARS blush today too, yeah. I feel like we're on FaceTime. Yeah, just pretend that we are on FaceTime. Because we are. And, um... Oh my gosh, you guys getting older also? Oh, well, I don't think it's... I mean, yes, getting older, yes. But because I have, um... With the pandemic, I started obviously running a lot. And I've noticed that because being in the sun all the time, obviously sunspots, is an issue and I never really had that issue before. Hmm. 
My Saturday is almost over. Oh, Yeah, where are you guys? Where are you guys watching from? I noticed your tanner from the recent podcasts and reactions, especially when you're next to Sylvia. Oh, actually, that's a good comparison because Sylvia doesn't get sun. <laughs> or at least not Hawaii sun. Okay, now that I've covered up everything that I guess I wanted to cover. Okay. A little better? A little better or what? I don't know. Okay. Have some ASMR. I actually, maybe I do like ASMR. And the weird thing is, I don't really watch ASMR channels. Not, uh, not really. Maybe I just like do ASMR. Watching from Sunday. Oh yeah, yeah, it's Sunday. In Korea. Minneapolis, New York, South Africa. If you're in a hurry, what's the one makeup product you must put on? Um, I guess maybe like concealer. I'm not this concealer because this is too thick. But if I want to not look like I'm dead, I there's this. Um, I don't have it on my table, but there's this benefit. Uh, I think now they call it the bouncy one, and it's really sheer, but. If you put a little bit on, it makes a difference and it makes you just m look more awake. So I think it's that. Um, I don't really care to do anything to my brows or if or my um, my eyes, but definitely I think because like I'm just so tired all the time. <laughs> but yeah, it's that. Um, yeah, Brazil. Wow, you guys are from everywhere. Um, the next thing that I do is the Laura Mercier. Um, setting powder translucent translucent setting powder this thing is amazing oh. this will just lock this foundation on my face so it doesn't fly off when I'm screaming This thing is a lifesaver too. Your room decor is so pretty. Thank you. The prettiest piece right here, again, from Rosé, Miss DIY. Everyone tell Rosé that you want her to open a DIY channel. Yeah, Laura Mercier, this setting powder, um, I, I, yeah, I guess it's been around for a while, but I, I mean, I guess I haven't used that much setting powder, but this, um, it's the best. Okay, and then after I do that, I usually uh, put on eyeshadow, but I always use this first. It's the Too Faced like shadow insurance thing that um, you put on your eyelids so that all your eyeliner and eyeshadow stays on. I hope this is relaxing for you guys because the plan was just to have a very relaxing Saturday morning. are doing yes my bias is gin finland oh my gosh i want to go to finland
Petition for Rosé to open a DIY Etsy shop, I know. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I know, it would be fun if she did that. And then all three of us would be doing YouTube. Okay, 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 the most important part. What kind of eyeshadow look are we going for? I was, I kind of just wanted to do like a shimmer lid. I wasn't going to actually do like eyeshadow, eyeshadow. Um, so let's start off with this one. It's a Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick. I think I got this for free or something. But it's a shadow stick. Let's try it. Oh, Hansung, you've been to Finland? That's so cool. Um, I know that's one of the places that you can see the northern lights. Um, I saw the northern lights in Iceland a few years ago. Can you see them? It's like shimmery. Maybe I'll layer something on like the edges. Because if not, my eyes are just going to look flat. <laughs> look at my sad eyebrows. <laughs> oh, You know, one thing about doing YouTube, you're just exposing yourself. But I like this. Um, oh yeah, girl, Sylvia girl, are you- <laughs> Sylvia girl, are you doing makeup right now? Are you getting ready? Um, a mini Laura Mercier powder. Ooh. Okay, let's go in with a darker color. Um, this is my peach palette. Kai's on my peach palette. <laughs> I put this on a long time ago when I first got it. Okay. Pick a color. I'll let you guys pick a color. Except if you pick the darker one, I probably won't do it. Like like the really dark ones, I probably won't do it. Pick a color. <laughs> I mean, I'm done showering. I'm starting now. <laughs> you said you're in the shower. <laughs> I'm stupid. So we all, why are you watching in the shower? Anyway, pick a color. <laughs> Top right? Oh, this. Wait, is your right? My right? This, the brown or the white? Top row. Number two? This one? Oh wait, I guess this is the right. Do black like Avril Lavigne. Shut up, I already did that. <laughs> Any of the browns. Yeah. I was thinking brown. Oh my god. I know, that's so like, I'm like trying to see like, wait, if you guys are on this, um, the right, well, oh my god, oh my god, I can't direction, I can't do direction, oh god, oh my god. <laughs> I can't do direction. Oh, I am struggling, I am struggling today. Okay, I'll do a brown. My, my go-to color is this one, um, but I'm gonna, I'll do like a more subtle brown today. Do a dramatic black smoky eye for old time's sake. Oh! Oh no. I can't direct- Okay, I can't- I can't English, I can't direction, I can't do anything. Okay, let's do the charmed color. Let's do just a light. Like a light. Inner or outer corner. Just to make this part pop a little bit. Because we already have the shimmer on top. <gasps> you guys see this already? That's your go-to? Yeah. Okay. 
You guys, if my, um, in the videos that we record today, if I act, look stupid, it's your fault. <laughs> like I said. Oh my god, did I do too much? Oh! Okay. This is too much. This is too much. This is too much. I did too much. Calm down. Thinking Jom Heva? What thinking Jom Heva? Good morning. <laughs> Doesn't look okay. I feel like I put too much. I was trying to go for like a very non shadowy look and I just wanted to put a little bit on the outer corner, but I done failed. Oh god, I oh god, what is going on? Wait, I need a I need a I need to um I'm gonna take this Okay, so I use Charmed, I'm sure, and then I'm gonna take Georgia or Peaches and Cream and I'm gonna like smooth this out because this is too much right now. This is way too much. Um, yeah. It looks beautiful. <laughs> um, let's take this. Let's take the Georgia, the Georgia Peach. Wow, I just realized it's called Georgia because Georgia peaches. And on the outside, just smooth it out. Okay. Okay, <laughs> and then take peaches and cream, and then the inside, and then smooth out the edges here. Um, you know, if I were to actually do makeup though on on my channel, um, I would need like a better camera because I'm currently using this dinky um, webcam, but I would need to get one of those really nice cameras, or or not a really nice one, but something that has better quality so you can actually see what is going on over here. I'm always say, thinking from Heba when I was saying it with how confused you were with directions and you asked why I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah. Um, Alright. Does this look stupid? Be honest. If, if be very honest, okay? Because you're you're you guys are the ones that are looking at that have to look at me. Be honest. If I if I make, because I can't I can't very I can't very judge. I can't really judge right now. Okay, let's take the nectar color here and do like um, inner corner stuff. I'm just gonna look like a glitter bomb today. I mean, you, I mean, I guess you can't really see, but. Okay, let's do eyeliner. Now this is where I really am gonna transform. I feel like eyeliner does so much. And I'm actually, I think these colors are running out, but I'm gonna use the brown one first, the tattoo liner by Kat Von D. This one doesn't rub off for me. So this one's good. Honestly, it's like your makeup you always do. <laughs> I know, I I know. I'm, I'm so dramatic. I feel like I'm always like, oh my God. Th does does something look like this or that and at the end of the day i just look the same and with anything not just makeup but with anything i do in my head it's a bigger deal than it actually is so i do that with everything um i'm pretty dramatic i tell myself 
tell myself I need to calm down a lot with a lot of things. Um, Jeff tells me that all the time, that he's just like, you need to calm down. Well, he doesn't say you need to calm down <clears throat> because if anyone tells a girl to, you need to calm down, you're, you're, I'm gonna flip the fuck out. Um... No, I'm serious, not joking, it's good. So, she don't see the comments? I do see the comments. I don't see every single comment every time, but I do see the comments. It doesn't look stupid at all. <laughs> and you guys are super nice. Okay, let's do eyeliner. Oh no, I'm running out of the brown. I'm running out of the brown. So I'm just gonna do the top of my lid with the brown and I have to do the wing with the black one even though it's a little bit harsher. Okay, let's do the wing. Is that a new clip? This? This? <laughs> I can't direction! This? Um, I had this for a while, I just don't... I guess you haven't seen it, but I've had this for a couple months or something. A right, couple months, I guess it is new. Are you using Mike Bean? Mike Mike Bean? I am using Mike Bean. Um, do you like Mike Bean? This is Mike Bean. Is your plan today to just record, or do you have other plans too? That's th uh, that's my only plan to record some stuff. Um, why? Why are you asking? All right, this is the part that... Oh, that's longer than I wanted, but... That's okay. Actually, it doesn't look bad. See, on camera, makeup looks so much more subtle than it is in person. Like, just now, I was like, oh, that's a long line. And I look on the camera, and it doesn't really look like anything. So, you have to really pack it on for any kind of, like, filming or theater stuff. Oh shit, this one is long. No. Okay, let's do something about these brows because they're like looking really bad. They're looking really, really bad. So, these two. Or I might use this too. This is also all. I am obsessed with brows. Okay, one thing, if you guys know me. My sisters know this. I am very, very obsessed with brows. Um, I always say, if someone don't got good brows, don't trust them. <laughs> I'm joking, kind of. But um, I think, so this is a little bit of a story time before I get started. Uh, when I was, I think I was like five. I think I was five. And one day, uh, I remember watching my dad use a razor in the bathroom and uh, and I was, I guess I was just fascinated with the razor. So one day uh, I went into the bathroom, I grabbed his razor that he, you know, used for like stubble or whatever. And I, I specifically remember looking in the mirror, taking the razor, this is a razor. And then I just go, <laughs> so I like, I razored off one of my eyebrows in kindergarten. And, and so like, if you want, and, and I used to um, go in my kindergarten, I used to 
uh, we used to do like plays or like musicals and stuff. And I remember watching a video that my mom filmed in kindergarten and my brows were super like penciled in. And I was just like, uh, I just remember watching it as I was older thinking, oh God, that's because I razored off my eyebrow. And so ever, I think in, in a few years ago, I had came to the realization that I am obsessed with eyebrows because of that traumatic incident that I imposed upon myself. So. <laughs> I know like I, I I just I just razored it off and and so like to this day uh my I told you my sisters know like I like I I I'm I'm cons I use like four or five no I use one two three four four products for just like a regular brow and I think I'm not like I'm not at it's not as bad anymore I think actually like just being at home all the time and not having to do makeup and all that i'm not as obsessed anymore but oh my god i used to take so long doing my brows so i start off with this lighter color and i just like kind of pencil in the parts that need more support you know because i have very like sparse brows like it's weird um I think it uh, obviously is because I'm Korean, but I have sparse brows, but the hairs can get long. Like it's like a weird situation going up here. I cut myself with my dad's razor when I was five too. <laughs> it is the morning, love. It is the morning. Otherwise, I would have a wine right now. Um, see, looking a little better. A little bit better. I need to, it's a little bit warm for my taste, but better. So basically, yeah, just filled it in. And then I take the darker color and um, have these like weird, this weird edge here. So I filled this part in. Kind of the same. I got bored and my mom left me in the room to buy some stuff in the store and then I saw scissors and I cut my hair and it up balding. <laughs> also, maybe it's a thing. Around that age, you're just, you know, you're so curious anyway and then you see your parents using stuff and you're like, what is that? And you just grab it and you either become bald or have no eyebrows. Are we drinking today or no? <laughs> Girl, um, we're probably going to end up drinking. I think what happens is we always say that we're not going to drink, but then we start watching stuff and then we get really stressed out. So then we grab a drink. Okay. I'm only going to, um, stay live by the way, um, until I'm done with makeup. But the excite, the most exciting part is coming up. So don't leave yet. Um, I told you I got a new mascara. <laughs> Oh, sad, sad life. What a sad, sad life. Do you guys like this or what? Um, I don't like it when it looks too perfect. I told you I spend a lot of time on my brows. Even if it, like, to you, it may not look like anything, but I see a difference. It's my own mental trauma. <laughs> I have taught kindergarten. I can say with authority that there is always a kid who cuts something they shouldn't. <laughs> That's funny. 
I'm busy so I can just pop in quickly, but I love you, auntie. Oh, thanks for popping in. You guys are so cute. Thanks for popping in. Okay. Um, all right, and then I'm gonna contour. So this is also a go-to. It's the Hula Benefit. God, all my makeup products are so nasty looking, but it's the Hula Benefit, and this is the best contour so you don't look like a pancake. Oh, by the way, um, I asked Sylvia if she wanted to be on this live with me earlier, and she said no because she feels and looks like a pancake. <laughs> But you know she you know she actually looks beautiful so don't listen to her you know you gotta get the jawline it makes a big difference contouring i fucking knew you would say that <laughs> whatever whatever we like expose each other all the time Blend, blend, blend. That is the trick of makeup, or the, tr the trick to do with makeup. You just have to keep blending. Even if you make a big mistake, if you just eventually just keep blending, it'll eventually look okay. I'm doing hula right now with you. Oh, <laughs> we're doing the same. We're doing the same thing. I like how we're um we switch positions. This is funny. And then whatever access, ac excess ac is left, look guys, this is another trick, okay? If you put a little bit of like a, like a light brown or the hula color, like on your nose, like kind of on the end, the side ends, end of your nose, and then the inside here, it gives you this uh, more dimensional look to your face. Like that is a trick. You're welcome. So I, like again, my camera sucks, so I don't know if you can tell, but you can definitely tell in person and it kind of elongates the bridge of your nose as well because it, it gives it like a shadow, um, like a shit, like a, uh, what is it? I can't, I really can't English today. What is the word? An effect. It gives it an effect where it elongates your nose, even though I don't really need to elongate my nose because my nose is kind of long. <laughs> anyway, okay. Okay, before I do blush, oh, I need to get my blush. I actually forgot it. was gonna wear I usually I was gonna wear falsies but I'm not gonna do the falsies today because obviously I have a nude mascara I have a nude mascara so I'm gonna curl my lashes and I ordered stuff from Yes Style and it came in including I told you my um the mascara that I found is a Korean brand that apparently works really well called Clio so we're gonna test it to see if it actually works You guys, I, um, you guys want to see what I got? What did I get? This is a lot more stuff than I thought. <gasps> oh, um, I got a new body lotion too. <laughs> Have you heard of this brand? It's called um, Pyeonggang, Pyeonggang Yul, I think. Yeah, Pyeonggang Yul. Yul. <laughs> Um, this is a body lotion. I needed a new body lotion, so I wanted to try this product because I heard it was good um, and the ingredients are good and uh, and it's not super expensive. Oh my god. Ooh, this- oh, I like the bottle. It's like 
it's super simple i like i like this like sleek look this is nice i also need a new face lotion of the same company it's obviously a korean brand but i got face lotion so hopefully this works for me i've been looking for something that like really smooths out my skin Uh... Oh, they gave me samples. What is this? A BB cream. Oh my god! I forgot I got lip stuff! Oh! Oh, this is, um... I got two of the mascaras that I'm gonna... Oh, I know! I'll try one on each. They're both the same. Cleo Kill Lash, but what it is super super proof mascara. One is volume curling and one is long curling. So let's see if they do it. I'll let you know if this works. And then, oh, I'm gonna wear this today. I got an Etude fixing tint. I got it in ginger milk tea because I needed a new color. This looks like the color I always use. Oh no, 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 it's a little bit different. I got this. So let's try the mascaras first. I'm very excited to try these mascaras. By v uh, Vigo. Ooh, it's like a, a very matte finish. Is this loud? Is that loud? Let's take my trusty curler. Um, I actually feel like for me, putting on falsies is faster because this uh, curling process, I feel like you have to be more careful so you don't rip out your eyelashes like someone. So the, not that you guys asked, but for a waterproof mascara, a lot of mascaras, again, and I'm sure you have heard this before too from other um, Asian beauty YouTubers, but holding the, uh, the curl is like the biggest thing and then also smudging. So they're curled. I don't know if you can see because I have very sparse eyelashes, but they're curled. So on one side, I'm going to use the volume curling. I'm excited because I heard this works. Oh my god, and look, the wand is small. You know, the biggest problem I have with this one, look how big, like, how is this going to, like, this is not okay. This is not okay. And this one is small, but the formula sucks. No, never mind. It's big. What am I talking about? Okay, so I'm very excited. I don't know why I didn't look into getting Korean products because this is like very fitting on my eye. So again, this is the Kill Lash Volume. So let's see. Oh my god, it's so cute to use! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, like I feel like I have so much more control. Oh, okay. I see. It is giving it volume. Oh! <gasps> Can you even see that? Okay. Alright. I, I think you guys can kind of see my lashes, right? Like, my lashes are- they're not short. They're actually, like, decent length. It's just, you know, I'm still- Korean or in they're not like super okay okay so far I like the application I really really love this brush I really love this brush 
Would you rather let Jeff do your makeup or let drunk Sylvia do it? I'd rather let Jeff do it because I, I feel like he'll be more careful. Okay, this one is the long. Okay, same little applicator brush again. Let's see what the difference is in this formula. So I wonder if the volume one, it'll weigh down more because a lot, I feel like a lot of uh, mascaras that say volume, it's because they have like tiny, a lot more tiny little fibers that stick to your lash. Oh, so this one, when you apply it, uh, definitely the first one, the, the coat, what am I trying to say? The volume one on my right eye, I just had to do one or two and then it was fully coated. This one is definitely, it takes more. So I think you can, I mean, honestly achieve the same look with both. You just have to work more. Oh, is this? Oh, this is the the long one. And you know what I like about Asian or Korean makeup products in general? It's like the formula, it's not too, whether it's eyeshadows or mascara, they're not too pigmented because Korean people like that natural look. Ooh, so far I like it. I, the test is whether it smudges today. That's a test. But look. Can you even see? You can't see, can you? Should I do it at the bottom? I actually never wear mascara at the bottom, but that might be a, a, a test. That might be a test. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll try it on the bottom today. And actually I forgot, um, usually what I also do is I take the darker shadow color that I put on my outer and I put it in the corner because again, this it kind of the same thing with the hula on your nose bridge. It kind of gives it more dimension to put at the bottom, put the shadow on the bottom, but only the very outer corner and like right under the the liner in your eye. And then, oh god, oh god, did I do too much again? Oh god, I did too much on one side. Oh god. Hello, thanks for joining. I am testing my new makeup today. Hello. Nan Enha and Nuna. Oh, are you Enha Nuna on Twitter? Yes, it's the new mascara. You know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this on my bottom lash. I again, I never wear a mascara on my bottom lash, but this is the smudge test today. See, again, you can't even tell on camera. I don't want to do too much though. I don't, I don't like wearing it on the bottom. Good morning. Um, I look better now because I have makeup on. <laughs> if you joined earlier, I was looking so tired. But you know, who isn't tired in the morning? Okay, I'm gonna try the volume one on this side. See, I feel like I look like weird. I look spidery. Okay, and then let's... This is my last brow product. I like to comb my brows at the end when everything is dry. Like the, the brown on the ends. Um, I use a clear brow gel. And this is just the Sephora one. And because sometimes my hair gets long, I need to brush it. And so it stays in place, especially the ends.
Oh, hi girl. We're both in Hanunas. <laughs> okay. And then I need a blush and we're pretty much done. Oh, and then I need to try this lip thing. So I am using the sample uh, NARS blush. This is like the sample version. And I'm using this like peachy shimmery color. Can you see it? Girl, are you almost done with your makeup? I feel like blush really makes your makeup come together. That's why I always love doing it at the end because because if you don't do it, there's like something missing and then you look like it like pops. And this color is like subtle enough that you can layer it on. Okay, um, I think, um, I think that's fine. I think that's good. Okay, this one is exciting because this is like my go-to color. It's the Jelly Melt, this peachy color, but a fixing tint. I heard good things about this, or maybe it was mixed. Okay, let's try it. Oh, <gasps> ooh. Ooh, it's like a very muted color. Let's try. Ooh, I feel like my makeup look I mean, yes, it, it, you're right, girl. It rosé. It does look the same as it always does. But it was like peachy. Okay, so I do like this color, but it looks like something that I already have. <laughs> For some reason, I thought it was going to be even more... Like, I mean, this is pretty neutral, but it's a little more peachy. I mean, it's pretty. I like it. You like this color? It looks pretty on camera. Ew. Okay, and then the final touch is we're gonna take that... Where is everything? Where did that eyeshadow stick go? I lost my makeups. I lost it. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Um, I like to add a little bit of highlight 
This is the last touch. We are cloning. I'm applying literally the same product as you step by step. <laughs> Hello, Jimin. So, highlight is always my last one. So, under the eyebrow. Ooh, you can see this here. Under the eyebrow. A little more here. I actually really like the way that the mascara looks so far. And then I also add some on my nose. And Cupid's bow. Now I look more put together. Okay, I am going to wash my hands. I'll be right back. God, Appa is here. <laughs> Hi, Appa. Okay, I need to do something about my hair. Oh no, the clip messed up my hair. Maybe I'll just put it up. Look at these roots. Oh, I was gonna try this. Let's see what it smells like. Love you. I love you too. It has no scent, which is fine. I like non fragranced stuff, but let's see what it feels like. No, oh, I love that it's in a, a pump, a pump bottle. Ooh, it feels nice and uh, moisture. <laughs> oh, it feels nice. It definitely feels like. Let's see if it absorbs well, because I don't. Ooh, my skin is like so dry right now Appa, what are you doing? Are you uh, working? Clearly you're not working because you're in my life <laughs> I actually washed my hair today I Okay, I think my get ready with me is done now, but oh, let me finish my coffee. I need to figure out what we're actually watching today though. Anyway, I hope wherever you guys are, um, you're having a good day. Like I said in the beginning of this live, uh, the main reason why I even went live is I just needed to have some a relaxing moment with, you know, others because I feel like this world is so divided and there's so much 
crap going on that sometimes you just need to surround yourself with good people even if it's not physically so i don't know i hope you guys aren't too disheartened by you know just whether it's your personal situation or whatever it is you know um i need to do some setup Chagan heart? Chungan heart? How do you do a Chungan heart? No, Chagan heart? Chungan heart? Kun heart! <laughs> I'm surprised almost not in here. <laughs> uh, where's my phone? Oh, my phone's right here. Yeah, the, the anxiety is real these days. Look, you guys, do you like my phone? I put my biases on here. Wish you, we could meet you guys in person. I know, that would be fun to meet in person one day. I'm going to the farmer's market now and I'm going to wear my hat and take my bag. <laughs> Um, it was uh, Rosé's birthday uh, on the 23rd and we sent her gifts and she opened them and we got her really cute, uh, basically it was ajuma gear. It was like an apron and with a cute gardening hat and like a gardening slash just tote. Um, not necessarily for gardening, but, but she's gonna take it to the farmer's market. Post it on Instagram. What are you going to record today? I'm so excited. It's a surprise. Um, yeah, it's a surprise. But I'm probably going to end soon. Girl, I'm going to call you in a little bit. And then we'll get started. Oh, my jazz, my jazz music. Okay, girl, we get to twerk soon. Are we gonna- are we gonna be twerking? And the farmer's working out there. <laughs> oh my gosh, the sun is out all of a sudden. It started- it was- it, it, it was such a gloomy day outside. And I don't know if you noticed, but it got a lot brighter in here all of a sudden. Oh no, what are we twerking to? You'll find out, Hansong. No fun. Oh, we're gonna twerk to this uh, cafe jazz music. Can I call dibs on video one? <laughs> okay, you can, <laughs> you can have you can have video one. Um, you can have video one because yeah, second part is always a mess. So you can have part one. Okay, with the pink shorts. Oh my god, with the pink shorts. Um, you guys just just watch our or listen to our watch listen to our last podcast episode. Our hot tub game was ridiculous. Okay, okay, you guys, let's say bye and give virtual hugs to each other because what we need, you know, is we need we need more hugs. We need more feel good stuff, right? So, um, I'm gonna be watching stuff that makes me happy today. So I hope you guys too. I hope you seriously, seriously, seriously have a really good day, uh, night, where whatever. So, bye, you guys. I'd be looking like looking a hot frying pan starting off in video. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Okay. Bye guys. Can we get um there's no mascara emoji, right? 
There's only a lip emoji or lipstick emoji. Can we get um, a peach and a lipstick emoji as a goodbye? Because I used the peach palette and I got a new lip thing. So bye you guys. Thanks for watching me paint my face. We'll see you in the next couple videos.